And welcome again, everyone, to Q's TV. Brian Higgins, Coach Q. We've brought our own bracket to the proceedings today, and uh, Syracuse is still in it. On to the second round. It'll be Monday against Kentucky at 6.30. And Q, just how exciting is it now in round two to still be playing here at this part of the year? Well, it's great. Obviously, you want to extend your season. These are one, one game and out scenarios, and mm -hmm. we came out and played well and got the W, so I'm really happy for us to be moving on in the bracket. What's the procedure like in a conference tournament? You're preparing for a team that you've played before. In this tournament, you are not. What's it been like over the last day and a half to get ready for Kentucky? Well, it's, it's good to have a day in between. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when a day in between means rest and it means a, a, a little bit more time to prepare for your opponent. So we feel like we got a, we got a pretty, pretty, pretty good feed on what they're going to do in. They got an understanding on, on how we need to play them and on the defensive end and things we need to do to score on the on offensive end. And the one thing is you are playing them on their home court. I think one of the things you said in your press conference today is, hey, there's a reason they give teams like this a home game at the beginning of the year. They're supposed to be good. They are good. Right, yes, no question. Now, obviously, playing at Kentucky mm -hmm. is going to be a great atmosphere. Obviously, coming off, off, off the big win today from their, from their men's team, and mm -hmm. they're going to have all their fans back excited and ready to go, trying to, trying to move, their, move their women's team on through the bracket also. So it's going to be an exciting game. Yeah, certainly some good vibes down here after their men knocked off undefeated Wichita State earlier this afternoon. All right, let's take it on the court. What is it about this Kentucky team, which looks to be very athletic, a team that will press you and a team that likes to get up and down? Well, they really, they really spread their minutes out. Mm -hmm. They play like 10, 10 players. It's, it's, it's kind of one of, those, one of those weird things where they play 10 players like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. so, so, so they really get their players in and out of the game. They do a lot of stuff and keep their, keep their players fresh so they can – push the ball, push tempo, and make you play fast. And for you, we obviously know about the injury to Brittany Sykes uh, yesterday. How's she doing? For one, obviously will not play tomorrow, and how do you go on without her? Well, she's doing good. Her, her, her spirits are high, mm -hmm. and it's the most important thing. And obviously, we, we, we recruit good players for, for this reason. Mm -hmm. So there's some players that can, that can step in and be serviceable. And obviously, Melissa Shea Taft has been playing tremendous force the last 10 games. And Cornelia Fondren, who was a starter last year, coming off the bench. So we, so it's, so we have guards that, that, are, that are plenty capable of helping us win. But obviously, we understand how Brittany is to our program right now. She's our leading scorer. Mm -hmm. and she does so many things on the floor, but she starts our press. So we're going we're gonna to definitely miss her. But we know that we got good players. We have enough players to compete and win this game. And it's Shea you plan on giving the start tomorrow night? Yes, no question. And Shea Taft's a good, good score. She's a, she's a very strong offensive player. She's a senior, so she has a, has a really good grasp on our system. So we're excited for her. All right, we're looking forward to it. We're down here in Kentucky at Syracuse and the Wildcats. Monday night at 6.30 over at Memorial Coliseum. We'll have full coverage on Q's TV. Let's go into the bracket here right now. The Orange onto the second round. Sweet 16 right there. That is the goal. We'll find out tomorrow night.